Jared and welcome to my Biz Blitz video series. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video with me. Today I want to talk to you about the two reasons why people will buy off you and it's not trust. And you may um, say, oh hang on Sharon, what are you talking about? Trust would be the main reason why someone buys off you. Well it's not exactly that. They've got to have some other reasons around trusting you. Trust is a little bit higher up. What do you need to give them for them to trust you? And I'm about to share with you the only two reasons I believe someone will do business with you. So I hope you're ready. Get your notepad out because these two reasons are the most important things you need to focus on when looking after your customers. But firstly, when does the customer experience start um, when they're looking for you? It's a lot earlier than you think. People think that the reason people buy off you is from the time they meet you. But in fact, that's changed now in our technology world. They're looking for you online in Facebook, on your website, other social media sites, and Googling your name, finding out all about you before they've actually even met you. So you've got to make sure that these two things are covered off in that experience early on and I'll talk about what those two things are in a moment. The other thing that you have to consider is how does your customer feel after they've done business with you? Now that's really really important because if they don't feel um, a certain way they won't do business with you and they might not be able to explain it they just go I've got this gut feel I don't like her and they don't know how to put that into words, but they have this gut feel within them that they don't want to do business with you. And I'll tell you, these two reasons, if you've missed them in your um, pre-meeting or meeting the customer, you they will not do business with you and they won't feel quite right. So what are those two? Let's get down to it. The first one um, is knowledge. You have to be um, the expert in your field. They have your customers when they're thinking about doing business with you actually have to know that you have all the knowledge you need to fix their pain, to fix their problem. They want to know that if they engage you in your service and product, a problem that they have will be solved. And you have to show them that you are the expertise in your industry um, and you know everything about the product you're selling. If you can't answer some questions, sure, you just go, look, I don't know, I can find out. But make sure you know, because if you keep going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, they're going to go, mm, hang on, this person is not coming across to me as a knowledgeable person in their industry. And the second thing, first thing is knowledge, the second thing is care. And this is where some people miss out on getting new customers. They're so knowledgeable, they know everything about their industry, they know everything about their product, and what happens is they forget to care about the person in front of them. And what they do is they don't listen, they don't empathise, they don't give feedback to the client, they don't let them know that they understand their pain, um, they understand what they're saying to them and letting them know that they're not alone in this problem area. And if you don't cover off on that care again, they're gonna have this gut feel, you've got the great product, you've got the great knowledge, but there's just something about that person I don't like. And usually is that you haven't covered off in the care factor. And I'm talking about showing care early on, before they even meet you. You know, have a look at your social media posts. I see companies posting, posting, posting about how knowledgeable they are and how great their product is, and there's not one care factor there. I don't feel that they care about me. So look back at your social media posts and go, mm, am I covering off on these two things before they even meet me? Then when you do meet them, if it's on the phone or face to face, you self-assess yourself. After you leave the appointment or get off the phone, say to yourself, okay, I gave them lots of care because I said this, this, this and this, and I gave them lots of knowledge because I said this, this and this. And how can I make sure that that balance is correct? Because it has to be a real even balance. You can't come in with you know, 80, 20. It has to be a 50, 50 balance when you're talking to those customers. So there you have it. They're the only two reasons reasons why they'll buy off you. One is care, one is knowledge, and from that, then it will build trust once they start um, dealing with you and using your product and service. So self-assess yourself, 
make sure that you look back on your social media posts and make sure that on your website and other areas they might find you online, you have those both areas covered and you will see an increase of ideal customers coming your way. Now in my 12 week business gathering, we cover off on all of this and make sure that you have the right dialogues, the right, the right systems, the right um, strategies in place to make sure that that's covered off on every time and that's in our very first module um, in, in talking about your ideal customer. So please if you're interested in the uh, 12 week business academy go to www. 12wba.com.au that's a 12wba.com.au and watch my short video there telling you all about the program and I'd love to see you um, in my program in my 12 week business academy because I know that we you know from this information you can even grow more and learn more and more about those dialogues and strategies around getting new customers so uh, thank you for watching my video today I really appreciate your time I would love if you could share this video to your family, your friends, your colleagues. Share, share, share out there because I would love to help as many people as I can. And if you think it would add value to them, please share it. I would love you to help me out with that. So thank you very much. I'm Sharon Jurd and I talk to you very, very soon.